Ladies and gentlemen, our next story is certainly of a grave importance. This is a big moment for our country. India is poised to achieve another significant feat with the India Solar Mission L1. Entering into the final orbit today at around 4 p.m., the mission will stay there for the next five years. Aditya L1 is a cutting-edge solar study satellite equipped with seven developed payloads and was launched on September 2nd last year with the aim of studying the outer atmosphere of the sun and gather data to understand the dynamics of the sun and its effects on earth as well. Now the mission spent 16 days in earth's orbit, underwent five velocity maneuvers and then embarked on a 110 day trajectory to Lagrange point one for uninterrupted observation of the sun. After travelling in space for nearly four months, Aditya L1, India's first ever solar observatory, has reached the first Lagrangian point of the Sun-Earth system. It is now about 1.5 million kilometres away from the Earth. Uh, on Saturday, the Indian Space Research Organisation is now going to perform a critical manoeuvre, which will be to place the spacecraft into a halo orbit around this L1 point. Now, this is the orbit where it's going to remain for the next uh, five years and collect a lot of data. Now, it's important to note that the L1 point is still about 150 million kilometers away from the sun, but this is the closest that any Indian spacecraft has come near the sun. Uh, if you remember, this was launched, Aditya L1 was launched uh, last year on September 2nd, and it took about four months, a little over 100 days to reach this L1 point. And it has about seven payloads, which were integrated by scientists from different institutes across the country. Uh, when ISRO performs this maneuver on Saturday, it will ensure that all these scientific payloads are switched off so that when it fires its thrusters, the, any of the disturbance or vibrations do not impact these payloads. Uh, ISRO will try to ensure that this maneuver is performed in one go so that the minimum amount of fuel is uh, used but uh, we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, we spoke to a couple of scientists from the Indian Institute of Astrophysics in Bengaluru. Uh, they were, uh, they were uh, instrumental in Okay, we spoke to a couple of scientists uh, from Indian Institute of Astrophysics, Bengaluru. Uh, the institute had developed the primary payload for Aditya L1 mission, which was called the Visible uh, Emission Line Corona Graph. Now, VELC is important because it's going to study the corona, which is the outer layer of the sun. It has, uh, you know, instruments on board, which will get, get a clear view of the corona by blocking the main disk of the sun and that is why the scientists said that they want to ensure that the spacecraft is in a stable orbit and they are able to capture uh, the corona uh, without any hindrance. Now apart from that uh, the scientists are also keen to study the solar flares and the coronal mass ejections and understand how their origin takes place because uh, these charged particles which are ejected from the sun have a potential to influence the earth's geomagnetic field. They also Im can impact the electronic equipments on board the satellites and we know that we have about 1000 satellites in the space and uh, it's important to ensure that they remain functional for as long as their mission life is. So uh, this Aditya L1 is going to be a very important mission and all eyes are now on ISRO as it performs this critical maneuver on uh, 6th of January. Uh, 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 an expected time is around 4 p.m. but we'll have to wait and watch.